Hello and welcome back to the Nerakul Lycation, also known as Casa de Cheramon. I will be your guide on the tour of the house today. I hope you all picked up your maps at the information desk. And we're going to start off on the top floor, which is just this way. This is my bedroom, which as you might have noticed is substantially less interesting than previous bedrooms that I've had. Basically, now that we have more space, I realised that I could use the bedroom just to be the room where the bed is and not the room where I make all the videos and stuff. So. There's not really that much going on in here. If you'd still like to look around, in here we have my cupboard, and my lamp, and my bed, and my bedside table, and my hidden cuddly toys, and my boxes that I still need to throw away, but that's it. So, sorry. Also on the top floor we have my bathroom, which is boring, and the spare bedroom. Spoiler alert, this is actually meant to be Michael Aranda's bedroom. You might remember Michael Aranda from such classic Charlie is so cool like moments as Justin Bieber dance and guy with haircut and other things and we want him to come and live with us. But as you might have noticed, he's not here yet. He's not here yet. He's not here yet. He's American, basically, which apparently makes it quite hard for him to move to England. But he will be here at some point, please, Michael. I miss you. And lastly on the top floor we have Amy Pond! Amy Pond, Ponderunsky, the Pondmeister, sitting there on that little extended platform which is just above our stairs, which are down here. So basically that's what I have to look at every single morning when I go downstairs and have my breakfast, which is quite nice and also slightly creepy. One floor down, firstly we have the smallest room in the house, also known as the Room of Requirement. I came up with that title, thank you very much. It's basically just a much less magical version of the real thing that we're gonna use for whatever we feel like. For example, just yesterday I was sitting in that bean bag planning out this video. Also on this floor we have Alex's bathroom, which is boring, and Alex's bedroom, which I would feel weird showing you round, so I'm not gonna do that. One more floor down, we have the office. Whee! which is divided into my little section and the bigger section with Alex's desk over there. This room is pretty much the entire reason that we wanted to buy a house in the first place. We wanted a space where we could be like, this room is the place where we do things in the hope that it would boost our productivity a bit and um, it definitely has. I feel like I want to make stuff all the time when I'm in here. Also in the office we have the now completed wall of stuff. 3.0 with new additions such as the Charlie Bot manual, Saskia Hamilton, and me, but as a Dalek. Also in the office we have my little windowsill thingies, here they are up close so that you can actually see them. We have my unicycle, which no I still can't ride, and we have the crime phone, yay, 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 crime phone. And now we're finally down at the bottom floor, which is the kitchen slash TV slash video game slash chill out area place. There are even more cool things down here. For example, the dishwasher, it washes our dishes, the magnetic knife thing, it holds our knives, and the two fridges. That's like 100% more fridge than I had previously. It's amazing. I'm totally cool liking right now. In the same way that the office space has made us be much more productive, this space is really good at helping me waste quite a lot of my time. We've only been here about two weeks and I've already made a little dent in the middle of the sofa where I've been sitting just playing Zelda for like three hours at a time. Basically I'd love to say that having this house has made me a better person, you know, more productive, but really I'm just as lazy as I was before, but now I also have a mortgage, so worth it. Hope to see you again soon. You've just had the almost imponderable joy of watching Charlie is so cool like, which makes you like cool.